it is time for rock lick number 19. Rick, welcome to my channel. So let's get right to it. Uh, we're going to be playing the 13th fret of the B string, hammer on pull off, 13 to 15, back to 13, and then you're going to slide to 12. No, you're not. Sorry, you're going to slide to 10. <laughs> so slide to 10. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hammer on from 10 to 12, and then slide to 13, but you're only picking once. So the whole idea is you're going to go like. So yeah, my picking in. <laughs> That's the idea. Is you're gonna do all the notes, pick once per what is it? Six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's kind of the theme of this one. So again, kind of slow. Thirteen, fifteen, thirteen. Slide to ten. Hammer on to twelve. Slide to thirteen. If you have a hard time with this or it's not sounding right, uh, try turning up the gain on your amp. Uh, put it on 11 as Nigel would say. <laughs> so next one here, starting 10 on the B string, hammer on pull off to 12, slide to seven, so. And then hammer on to eight, and slide to 10. And just picking once for all six notes. Uh, the next one you're gonna start in seven, hammer on seven to eight, uh, and then pull off to seven, so hammer on pull off. Slide to three, and then uh, hammer on to five, and then slide to seven. So I'll do a little slower here. So hammer on pull off seven to eight, slide to seven, hammer on to five, and then slide to seven. <laughs> and then I just put a little different ending here just to mix things up. Uh, so that is hammer on pull off three to five, slide to one. So. And uh, the last thing I'll say about this lick is kind of cool, is that if you look at all the notes I chose for this, um, no, we're in the key of E minor, even though we're starting on a, a C note here. That's how I'm, you know, if you look at all these notes, it's just the, the notes of E minor. Um, or you could say G major and, you know, that kind of stuff later. But these are E minor rock licks, so I'm just going to keep it simple. The point being is that, um, that I played every single note in E minor. Um, I'm just going to start down here and kind of show you. So if, I, if you look at all the notes that that lick contained, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. Now it started on C, ended on C. That's what you could call it, C Lydian, but I don't want to get, get you know, digress here. Um, uh, that's all the notes in E minor. So the point being is it's kind of one of my, uh, not philosophy, is one of my concepts, I guess is a better word. Um, if you learn these kind of licks, that's a, a big goal of my, with my licks here, is that you will learn how to play in a key fluently, uh, you know, uh, possibly, just by learning licks. Now, it's good to learn scales. Of course, you should learn your learn your scales. But just kind of go with me for a minute here. <laughs> let's say you never learned a scale, but you learned this lick that I just played. And let's say you learned another one very similar. Let's do it on the, on the high E. I'll start on the E note to make it really kind of straight ahead if I want. So let's say all you did is learn that lick there. Pretty simple, just kind of hammer on some slides. Those are all the notes in the key of E minor on the E string. So if you learn that lick and the one that is in this video, you would actually know all the notes in E minor uh, on two strings. And you would have never even learned a scale. I mean, that that is a scale right there. Right? Um, so that's really cool because it breaks you out of scales, these patterns, kind of rigid patterns. Also, what's cool about these licks specifically that I'm doing here, let's say this, you know, this actual lick here, um, which by the way, I think, it, did I say it was lick 19? I think it's actually lick 20. Oops, <laughs> we'll see. I'll have to think about that. Um, so um, the idea, yeah, when you're, when you're playing these licks, it gets you out of, it gets you to be able to think more this way on the guitar, which I find is a really common 
uh, problem and question area with my students. They get, you know, they get the scales down here, um, you know, maybe pretty decently, but then they can't maneuver around the neck, you know, so let's... So if you want to, be able to do this kind of stuff, move around the neck. Yeah, then you want to, oops, <laughs> then you want to be able to like, um, you know, think this way. So anyway, hope that's uh, maybe something to think about. A lot of times when I'm doing these videos, what I'm specifically honing in on um, is a question or a concern that I recently had with a student. Um, and then it's more specifically, if it was a question that I had with a student, let's say it was this last, this last week of teaching, and it was something that I've heard many times before, um, then I figure this is definitely valuable information because I've seen it many, many times before. And this is one of those things. Um, so yeah, hope you like it. Um, and it's just kind of a maybe interesting sound if you like that. Uh, it's also good practice for your left hand legato. You know, it can be strengthened up the left hand, so. Alrighty, hope you like it. See you soon, thanks.